Climate change affects the whole world. So why is that that possible? Global warming is causing forest fire, droughts, rising sea levels, and loss of habitats and uh, resources for many animals as well as for humans. We need to add minutes to save our planet. Global warming is having devastating effects on our planet. But if we can do something to help us right now, we thought of some ways that we can all for to protect our environment. Um, okay. Um, we just reuse and recycle. We are with the events. Eager at carpool, the print by driving next and moving public transport more. Eat less food. Please do what you can do to say, our dear, our dear, we say, please do the world. Did you know Glasgow is called our dear green place? Glasgow means place of the green, follow our dear green place. We are going to teach you about Glasgow coat arms. I'm learning about St. Mungo too. St. Mungo is the scent of Glasgow. Glasgow is so important, it's like culture sex as the climate change of event. It is health in our green place. When he was sweeping, some boys put the fire out. When he woke up, he was sad and he'd break the branch in a hazel tree. He played on the branches and he went on fire. But it never flew. Saint Serp had a robin as his pet. The bird died and Saint Mungo got, got the rain. Mungo would the bird and he was quite a neat one back to life. Which did never swim. One would come gave the queen a ring as a present. The queen gave the knight her ring and the knight lost it. And so he thought the king snuck into the knight's room and found the ring and flung it into the river crying. Ken then told the queen that if she did not give him the ring back, he would hurt her. The queen told the night and the night went to the mango. The mango sent a monk to go to the river clay to fish. Mungo found the ring that he first caught and gave it back to the queen. The bell that never rang. The first mayor of Glasgow was John Stewart. He liked to sit on Mungo's bell. When he died, he wanted the bell to ring for the street to pray for him. No one has what happened to the bell. There's a new bell in Glasgow Green.
do. I have no problem with you. This means everyone in the body will have access basically like food and water. We have been brought back. Not everybody in the world has a must eat. We try to imagine how that feels. A teacher gave us some chocolate bites. Some people have to fuck. Not fair to add only one. opportunities and protection that can help them fulfill their potential. It means that all, all gender are allowed to choose what life they want.
When I grow up, I like to be a singer. When I grow up, I like to be a singer. When I grow up, I like to be a singer. I like to be a singer. I like to be a singer. When I grow up, I like to be a singer. I do want to play on the team with Tommy Trump play football. When I grow up, I want to be a football player. When I grow up, I want to be a doctor. When I grow up, I want to be faster. When I grow up, I play with the team. When I grow up, I want to be a footballer. When I grow up, I want to be a football player. When I grow up, I want to be a sports star. I grow up to be a football player. When I grow up, I want to be a football player. When I grow up, I want to be a football player. When I grow up, I want to be a basketball player. When I grow up, I want to be a singer. When I grow up, I want to be a singer. When I grow up, I want to be a football player. Waste. Waste what? I'm Craig Seven Six, and we've been talking about the global goals. The goal we're focusing on today is not goal number seven, clean and affordable energy. Clean and affordable energy. Affordable energy is wind power, solar power, and hydro power, which is water, wind, and sun. Wind power is greater than oil, gas, and coal because of revenue money. Water is a raw source of energy that is renewable. They have solar panels on their house, which takes energy from the sun. Goal number eight. Decent work and economic growth. It's making sure that everyone gets a fair amount of money. We need to make sure there are decent jobs that do not harm the environment. We should stop child labour. The targets are to offer opportunities for creative, safe work. To make sure natural resources are protected. Protected. Safe working environment. For all people, men, women, children, and people with disabilities. To prevent and forced child labour. To protect labour. Today we are going to be telling you about Goal 9 of the Sustainable De Development Goals. Goal 9 is about industry, innovation and infrastructure. An industry is a group of businesses that make or sell products or services. Innovation means coming up with new ideas and being creative. Infrastructure is the buildings, roads and power supplies needed for the societies to operate. In class, we were building structures using spaghetti and marshmallows and then we tested them to see how well they would stand against the 10 second shake test. Yeah. 
One of four towers fell and two of them stayed standing. We talked about how countries that are less developed than us have much, have much weaker materials which puts them more at risk from natural disasters. We think that it's important that people stand the same chance against natural disasters. So let's be creative and make a change! Hello, I am Lucas One and I am Huda Said and this, and this is, is Room 13's, 13's News Desk. COP26 has been held in Glasgow and the pupils of East Bank Primary have been looking at the global goals for sustainability. Goals are things that we want to achieve in the future. The sustainable development goals are like a to-do list for the world. Primary 6 at East Bank have been looking at Goal 10 which calls for reducing inequalities. Let's go over to reporters Josh and Stacey Lee at the school now. Hello, I'm Stacey Lee at East Bank Primary School. I believe you have been learning about sustainable development in particular on Goal 10. Can you tell us a bit about that? Sure, sustainable development Goal 10 is about reducing inequality. I'm Josh at East Bank Primary. What does inequality look like? An example of inequality would be that in some countries, children can't go to school, so they can't read and write. What would they look like? Inequality can be when you want to and get disabled doing the same job. What's inequality? Inequality can be when you want to get disabled doing the same job. What's inequality? Will it create disability or gender or where they come from? What would they look like? It can be that people in developing countries haven't got the same support to help them with businesses and trade. Thank you for the information. We didn't clean water to drink. Those P6 pupils gave us some good examples. Oh, now back to room 15 news. Thanks, Josh and Stacey. Here's another example showing inequality. A flower seed has been planted in each pot. The first seed gets lots of light and water so it grows well. The second seed gets some light and some water and although it grows, it does not grow as well. The third seed gets some light and some water but is placed in a very windy area. It gets blown about and has to struggle to stay alive. The fourth seed gets too much light and only a few splashes of water now and then it too has to struggle to stay alive. If the seeds do not get given what they need, they cannot grow properly. But if they are given what they need, then they will have a more equal chance to flourish. ensures that laws and practices do not discriminate against any group. It aims to help keep migration safe and responsible. Ensures laws and social programs protect disadvantaged and vulnerable people. It aims to make sure that people leave one country to live in another benefit from law world. Goal 10 is about making the world a fairer place for everyone to flourish in. And that's all for today from Room 13's News Desk. Before the pandemic, cities had rising numbers of slum sun wells. Only half of the wells were open, half convinced access to public transport. It is important that we ensure access for all to a great safe and affordable housing and basic services is a 
and up red slum. It's important that we protect our safeguard in the world because we're natural heritage. So that these can be enjoyed for years to come by everyone. We must provide universal access to safe, inclusive and accessible green and public spaces. This is especially important for women and children older persons and persons with disabilities. Today we are going to be talking about Goal 12, Responsible Consumption and Production. So what does Goal 12 mean? Goal 12 means helping the environment by eating healthier and less meat, basically doing more and better with less. Also the same with clothes. Some poorer countries don't have the best clothes or food. People from wealthier countries are throwing clothes and food away more often. What can we do to help? Instead of buying a cardigan from new local M&S, go to a charity shop and buy it. It saves you more money. So speaking of charity shops, instead of throwing away stuff that's too small for you, you could always take it to a charity shop. And if you don't live near any charity shops, why don't you shop for today? Fair trade is also something you can consider as buying some food. You don't always have to buy fair trade or second hand. However, if we all make a small change, it will go a long way. So let's make a change! The world is becoming too hot. Harmful gases make the changes to the climate. The gases are made by cars, trucks, planes and even the factories that make our toys, clothes and electronic gadgets. Climate change is real and we have to act now. Here is some things you can do to save our world. Just the use recycle. We can save energy by turning off the lights. We can save the planet as turn off the taps. We can work to skill and we can make the car Goal for Sustainable Development number 17, Partnerships for the Goals. 
It aims to strengthen the means of implementation and revitalize the Global Partnership for Sustainable Development. 2017 is the last United Nations Sustainable Goal, but it is very important. Meeting its targets is vital if any other goals are to be achieved. Global goals can only be met if we work together to build a better world. We need to be supportive, inventive, passionate and above all cooperative. Here's an example of how working together can achieve things. We want to make a big display covering all the windows to show the global goals for sustainable development. But this goal has lots of windows and it would take a very long time if just one person had to do it on their own. It might not even get finished. So, all the classes and staff painted a little bit each. Everyone helped each other by working Together, East Bank achieved their goals to make a big display. We often use the word team and we say together East Bank achieves more. Everything reminds us of the need for everyone to work together and make the world a better place.